Hi, this is Helen with the Better Half Blog. Today I am going to share with you how I pay off my credit cards on a weekly basis to the fun stuff, money stuff. I told you last week that I'm going to share with you kind of more in depth of how I pay off my credit cards on a weekly basis just because in the past when I was young, I did get into a lot of trouble with credit cards. There was a point in time where I thought, you know, cards are just there to use. It's like free money and you just use it and it's gone. Of course, I'm talking about my 20s. I know it's kind of done. Actually, no, let's go back. It's more of my teens because I was still like 18, 19 when I first got my credit cards. And I was in college and I would just like use it up. My daddy would pay it off. And I think the third year into this, my dad kind of cut me off and he said, you need to get it together. <laughs> I was like, you need to start looking at your bill. So he then forwarded all the bill, billing address to, over to my location at the time, which was in California. And I started actually facing it and it was like a big struggle because here I had no clue how money worked. And then all of a sudden, I was having to deal with, okay, I have to actually deal with my spending. So that's what I had to do. I had to deal with things in a different way. I had to figure my own way out. And now that I have four kids and business and you know multiple things going on in my life where money moves, I have done something drastic in my life that has been working for me for years. And so I wanted to show you what I do and how I pay off my credit card. So let's get right into it. Okay, so these are my cash envelopes. The first one is every two weeks, I empty this baby out and I just refresh it with a new paycheck. And so these are more of like everyday spending type of categories in here. So like food, grocery, you know, house items, beauty items, and um, fun spending, going out to the boba with the kids or eat out, things like that. And then I have these guys which are like my sinking funds, regularly used. It might not be like every single day, every single month, but it, they are things that I do spend the money on. And so what better way to do life than to be prepared instead of having to owe credit cards going back into my teens again. So that's how I use these envelopes. Now let's go into my budgeting Kobanichi weeks, as you guys know, I've shown you in the last video and many videos before. If you've missed those, look out for that. It's always going to be in this wallet or Jillio planner cover. And I use this as my wallet right now. Currently I'm using this as my wallet because I'm using cash. I just went back to cash recently because I was starting to spend more than I should on certain categories. So I wanted to check myself and the easiest way for me to do that is once in a while, go back to cash spending. It makes me stop using more than I should because whatever money is in here is what I'm gonna use for two weeks until the next paycheck. The way this works for me is my paycheck comes into the, my bank account. Then from my bank account, my retirement, kids savings, kids um, college funds, um, any kind of payments that I need to make, bills, um, things like that are all kind of all going out at the same time as soon as my check hits. And so once that happens, I know exactly how much I can cash out for my spending uh, for the house and the kids and just to live. And then also how much I can stuff into these envelopes here, which are future spendings that I know I'm going to be spending. And the reason why it's so crucial for me to keep up with these is because I have four kids and I have kids that are in sports and activities where once in a while, like once every two months, every six months, a year, there is like huge spending, like for just for Taekwondo alone, all four of our kids do Taekwondo. And the belt testing for their black belts as they go into second degree, third degree is like, 750, 850, 950 per child. So that comes up every year, year and a half. And so I wanna always be prepared for that. The other thing is like my kids play golf and golf is expensive. And um, I knew that going in, but just our family, me, myself, with my dad, I used to enjoy golf so much when I was a kid. And my dad actually had dreams for me to be a pro golfer, but I was just, such a rebel <laughs> in my teenage days that I 
didn't want to do what he wanted me to do. So to this day, I might regret it just a tad bit, but it's okay. With golf, new clubs, custom clubs, any kind of membership fees or league fees, golf lessons um, for that matter, that's all money that I know I'm going to spend in the future that I want to put away instead of letting it hit my budget like on a month all of a sudden and then I'm like okay where do I have to cut down do I just not shop for food <laughs> this month so I don't like that idea so that's why I keep these type of sinking funds and then Christmas holidays and things like that let's do this enough talking Helen okay so this is $200 that my son gave me he is working part-time right now at our office and he's actually doing a real good job and he's got kind of his money goals we talk about money all the time at home he's 15 and a half and he's decided that he's gonna put 10% to investments because that's what we talk about I think went over his 10% but so I'm gonna put this to the side put it in the bank and then put it into his portfolio so that's what we're gonna do with that. Let's go into this week. This is how I would do it. All these are paid off. As you can see, I have the 13th, 13th, 15th. So when I say cash in on that day, it was all paid off and it was all in. I do have a buffer in my bank account. So if I, in case I don't deposit right away, that's fine. I could deposit like next month and it's still going to be okay. So I have buffers, but I still do this because I don't want to keep fighting into my buffer, but rather use the money that we saved up through the years or months or whatever in here. Let's work on this credit card payment. This is a credit card payment that, as you know, I highlighted in this color so that I know exactly what I'm paying off. It's a total of $540.52 and I just round it up because it's my buffer, it's my bank account, it's my money, whether it's in cash form or in my bank. So it doesn't really matter for me. We're going to take out some money that we spent. And of course, when I spend cash, it's written here and it's taken out directly from my envelopes and my wallet. But now when I am using my credit card, it's here and I just pay it off. Again, using my buffer, so I'm not in a hurry, but I am taking those out so that I know I don't have that money to spend anymore until the next paycheck. Does that make sense? Okay, eat out. We're gonna open this baby up and put that to the side. We're gonna actually stuff these, which is my wallet. So eat out. We've got some money in here, $23.56, so 20 and then 30. So I just put 30 in. I'll just round it up because I don't have a $5 bill in here or singles. That's good. This is a, a bill and it's already budgeted. It's already in my bank account. I don't have to count for it. And then medical 75, so 20, 40, 60, 80. So I'll put that to the side and put the rest in. And then I have pet spending. So we went to PetSmart. I usually order from Chewy.com and I like it better because you kind of like order it online and you know how much you're spending. And then if you're spending over your budget, then you just kind of take things off. But I went to PetSmart and I just went crazy because our dogs needed collars and things like that. $159.40. And pet, I keep in my sinking fund and just roll them over because I used to put it in my, my regular wallet, but I decided to take that out because I don't always spend on pets because they have food and grooming and it's a once in a while situation. 160 is what I'm gonna take out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. 160. And look, they're so poor now. I have $40. <laughs> okay. So that's pets. And then here, miscellaneous Helen used, and I have my own. Sean's rich because he never uses the money. Okay. So Helen has a $20 bill that I'm going to take out. It was $17.23. And then let's see. Education. So that was 241. Just take out 240 because I have more here. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40. So 240 is going to the bank. So that's what we spent. Last one is kids. And kids is in this envelope. I know the beings are here. 
pets, kids, Sean, Helen. Okay, so kids envelope, I don't know what I spent for $23. So if, see, this is what happens. When I wanna know, I go to that color and I go, what did I spend? Oh, it was lift. David needed a lift after his golf lesson. So I didn't feel like picking up at that hour. I'm gonna take out a 20 because I think I have extra cash in here. So we'll just see if it covers the total cash need, needed to deposit for the, this payment. And let's take a look here. Okay, so it should be 540 at the least. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, $40, an extra 10. I'm okay with spending into my buffer 52 cents. So I'm gonna put, put this back and the most we need it is in the kids' education because I can never have enough in there. So let's put that back in to where the 10 belongs. Okay, here we go. Okay. Done. I really need to fill up that education binder because our kids' belt testing is coming up soon, so I need to focus on that. That should be 540, and with this, I have a little envelope that my tellers laugh at me about, and they love it in a good way. Laugh at me. 540 here, and I will deposit it into the bank. Now, the other thing that I do when I do end up going and making a trip out to the bank is I also take my stocks and investments money. So this is all the leftover change that I put in here. This is for Sean and my stocks and investments. So when I end up to the bank, this is not to be filled and I'm not sad about it being empty. I always empty it out every time I go to the bank because you know, you wanna buy stocks in real time. This million dollar fake money that my daughter put in here. So let's see what's in the stocks and investments. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150, 5, 60, 5, 75, 80, 5, 90, 5, 200, 5, 10, 5, 20, 5, 30, $230. So that's also going into the bank like to just put it all up. I'll organize it later. Um, so that's also going to the bank. And this 200 for my son is also going in, into the bank. So that in as well. Okay, so that's what I've got going on here. And that's how I would deal with this. Next thing I do is then I go into my binder with all the cash spending for this week and next week until we get paid again. I fill up a good chunk so that it's always readily available because I don't need to use the card if I don't really need to, unless it's a big spending. So um, I always have that extra cash available for food. So, cause I do need to go Korean grocery shopping like yesterday. So put this in food. So I got 300 in there. And then I have extra when I do Amazon orders and things. For house, I'm going to put, let's see, I put this change. So 20, 40, 50, 60. If I buy anything, it'll be at the Korean Mart because I do need a new container. So that's that. And then beauty, let's see. 50. I will actually just put all 50 in here. If we need to spend anything, it's probably going to be around that amount. If not, great. Fun. I'm going to, and this is more for boba, coffee, things like that. I do use a Starbucks app. I have money in there, but if we don't go to Starbucks, because my kids love um, going to get boba and little snacks. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, I usually don't like to carry that much, usually about 60. Every time I have, like, I used to put everything in and then I was like, I realized I was just like going out all the time with the kids and I don't really need to, right? So, got 60 in there for fun. 
And the other thing I do, you guys, is that sometimes I don't feel like filling in all these envelopes. And what then I would do is just use this. I would put all the cash together and just put it in the, in the wallet and use it because I track my spending anyways. So I know exactly how much I'm using for what. And that works for me too. Eat out, I have 160 in here. So I'm going to, if we do eat out, it's usually at, at the least 60 bucks, if not more um, for our family, because we have a big family. So 60 bucks goes into eat out and then gas. So this is charity for any time someone needs money, it comes out of this pocket. So I always have it filled in. For gas, I usually put 160 per paycheck because I have a SUV. I usually spend about 80 bucks, I think, 70 to 80 bucks per tank. So I'm going to take half of this in case I don't go to Costco gasoline because I usually fill it up at Costco and I just pay it off but sometimes I don't. Sometimes Costco is not near and I just have to fill up my tank and I'll just go wherever and I could pay cash there. And then all my bank cards, my gym memberships and things like that. So that's what I got for you. So now I have food, house, beauty, fun, eat out, gas, and all my cards. That's going in my purse. This cash is going into my bank and that's how I pay off my credit card every single week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.